In many parts of the shores of Lake Albert, you cannot miss the collection of plastic waste, such as water bottles, disused plastic footwear, jerry cans, basins, polythene bags, among others. The fishermen at Kijangi landing site in Hoima district say that the continued careless disposal of such plastics has affected fish stocks on Lake Albert. The Kijangi village LC1 chairperson Fred Vijira says that the plastics floating on the lake have greatly affected aquatic life and they have noticed a decline in fish stocks compared to the past before the problem got worse. Bijira says the leaders have tried to remove the plastics by periodically mobilizing the people to ban them, but it's becoming overwhelming because traders bring bottled drinks daily from Hoima City. The consumers poorly dispose of the bottles and they somehow end up in Lake Albert. We normally do a general cleaning once in a week, but it is not enough. If we can get a pit where people can collect and dump these plastic wastes, it would be easy for us to manage. These bottles, we are the same people who bring them. In case if we buy like a soda or water, you take it, you drink all, then you buy it, you, you can put it somewhere like that. You go. Martin Musoke, a fisherman at Kijangi Landing Site in Tonya Parish, says many fishermen here use plastic materials to float their fishing nets since they cannot afford to buy the standard required floaters. According to Musoke, area leaders and law enforcers, including the police, have not done enough to stop the increasing plastic waste disposal at Lake Albert. Fifty-four-year-old Jenna Andahura, who has been fishing at Lake Albert for many decades, says fishing is no longer profitable on this landing site. We used to get more fish during the start of the month, up to when the moon comes out. But nowadays, things are not going on as they used to be. The area village local council chairperson, Bijira, appealed to the plastic manufacturers to design an alternative material which can decompose. We would request the government and manufacturers to start making things that can decompose after use. The woman councillor for Tonya Parish called for intensified community sensitization on the dangers of poor plastic disposal. Other people they have where they dump them, others they just throw there, others maybe they put fire on it, on them. People are there using those bottles due to there are some trees which those people were cutting they use now. Those trees they were destroyed by even by our people making charcoal work. Now those trees are not there. According to the United Nations Environment Programme, over 300 million tons of plastic waste is produced globally each year and a substantial part of these end up in the seas and other water bodies such as lakes and rivers.